start my chainsaw real quick. I'm definitely gonna have to turn the camera off before I put my glasses on. You guys aren't filming, right? <laughs> Too. Yeah, no cussing. Great. I'm not doing very well. I'm trying. I'm trying. We got a call from a guy in uh, North Carolina, I think he said, and he's looking for a power steering setup off of like an 84, 85 uh, Trooper. And so I'm going to take a little drive over here and take a look at uh, an 85 that I've got and see if it still has the equipment that he needs on it. Yeah, here's a power steering line. We got another power steering line. The power steering cooler right there. Yeah, it looks like I may have everything he needs. Hello? Hi, John. Hey, what's up, Lane? Are they saying all that ice and stuff supposed to come in? Sunday, Sunday morning. Oh, really? So I'm not even gonna be able to work on it Sunday day then. I'll just keep plugging away on this thing and get it done as soon as I can. All right, that's no problem. Yeah. Okay, Lane. I'll see you, John. All right, take care. I talked to you this morning about that uh, power steering setup you were needing. Oh, yeah. Good man, I just want to let you know, I went out and um, looked at that 85 and everything is there. Yeah, Johnny, he bailed as soon as the snow melted. He's like, all right, back to California, you know. He's a foul weather friend, you might say. What's up, man? Hey, dude. Um, what, are you doing? what are you up to? Watching my car. You still talk to that guy, uh, Matthew McToothy or whatever? I'd like to see about maybe uh, getting a hold of him and see if he uh, wants to give me a hand out here from time to time. Uh, oh, now he's like redheaded, isn't he? Yeah, he's redheaded. Yeah, you'll see some progress on the rhino. It's gonna, it's gonna have to, you know, it's gonna have to warm up a little bit. Rhino's on the back burner for right now, dude. It's cold as hell. I'm not working on that thing right now. Uh, Next hey, John, it's Greg. I'm just having a trooper problem. I want to see if uh, you can help me diagnose. Hey, bud. Hey, Greg. What's up, man? It's, uh, it's kind of random. Um, to cut out, like, like at, at high speed. I think I may be coming to Fayetteville tomorrow. Okay, I... dude. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bro. All right, I'll take care. You. I got down to like two gallons, and it really start, just started cutting out like crazy. So I don't know what to do. Got all my cap in here. Fix your car. That's a toolbox right there. Uh oh. Oh. Whoa. Yesterday I filled up with gas. Um, oh, did you put oil was, in it? It was freaking freezing. I think I just yeah, I put Staged. oil in it. Okay. I just spaced out. I thought maybe that screen was going to be all clogged up, but it's not too bad. We'll go ahead and start it up and see what it does. All right. This thing's leaking. My buddy Patrick's been sending me the videos of him and his kids out riding around in the woods in uh, Florida. And I've been thinking they ought to bring those bikes up here and take a ride on some of the trails we've got here around the property and some of the dirt roads around here. Stop. Also, my buddy Lou was talking about, you know, how rural the setting is out here. Uh, I don't think he's even seen just how rural it gets. So I thought I'd drive around a little bit, kind of show my neighborhood.
Hey, Mark, it's Johnny Five. Hey, how you doing? Good, buddy. Did you get that stuff I dropped off the other day? I've been out. We're walking pneumonia. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard. Okay, well, we're square. Um, I'll... Uh, all you this afternoon, I was trying to get this block board and get it all. Cool, gone. man. Well, if you can just let me know when that stuff is ready to go, I would like to be able to pick it from, up from you and just take it straight to Holiday Island to get it all balanced. Yep, I can do that. All right, Mark. Good talking to you, man. I'm glad you're yep. feeling better. Thanks. Yep. Okay, man. Well, have a good one. schedule today and I didn't get any firewood cut. Now it's starting to snow. I'll be getting out of here five or six times, you know, in the next two hours. So um, if you guys get warm, get by the fire. If you get bored, decide you want to ride along for one or whatever, that's cool. You know, whatever. Uh, that's cool, man. I'm glad you guys decided to come. It's not all bad. It's kind of fun, actually. It's probably, uh, oh, I don't know, 28 degrees or something outside. I mean, from California, sure, I know. It, you know, 75 degrees every day out there. Yeah, dude, no, it's okay. I'll get this, man. You guys can have that from the car. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I know, dude. It's bold. The door's ice shut. Yeah, is that fiber over there? throw this cardboard in here and see if I can get this uh, see if I can get any heat out of this thing. Anything that you can do to keep the air out of the radiator is gonna cause it to run warmer. So hope that cardboard doesn't catch on fire. Man I totally forgot about the fact that you can't even see out the windshield. At least I can see where I'm going. Well yeah of course I'm gonna try to not hit stuff but you know there's that trooper I gotta cut that floor patch out for Dan. Well, there was some trees that I kind of spotted yesterday and didn't get. We're going to come back for them today. There's pieces right over there we can grab as well. There's two or three of them back up in there, so I'm going to get them all. Yeah, now it's a real bummer that I can't see out the windshield because i got to be able to see where I'm going. I'm ready to go back home. There you go. Now you guys don't have to freeze this. Right? Mm -hmm. It's frozen, man. What's the worst that could happen? I don't have any idea. I've never done it before. Well, you came out here because you wanted to play in the snow. So. Hang out in the creature comforts. 90% of the year, and then as soon as it gets really bitching out here, you're like, oh, let me go out to Dad's place. Let's oh, yeah. Really oh, hold on. I'm about to fall out the door. Oh, well, I told you. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work right. Let's see if it's latched. No. No. You just got to the latches are frozen? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to go try to get those power steering parts pulled in. The weather's not really uh, ideal for it, but. It's short and sweet. Power steering line. Okay, so there's the uh, return line with the cooler and these bolts on the back side of the apron here. There's the reservoir. So I'm done. All right, on to the next one. No, it's not ideal, but I'm planning on having it done today. Have you seen any of the videos yet? No. Have you looked any of them up? No. Do you want to? No. Wait for the best days to cut wood, too. Do you burn that much wood? You have to cut wood every day. Some people go to the gym, and this is my exercise. I you, do the same thing. 
Do you cut every day pretty much? Uh, not every day, but I cut enough in one day to last me a week or two. Oh, okay. Do a burnout. Yeah, that thing's cool, man. Oil filter adapter going to Costa Rica for a guy. And uh, got this ECM right here going to Illinois for my buddy Stissy Sitch. You want to ride? Yeah. Why not? Something's coming through back here. Oh, that can't be good. There we go. Yeah, I think the exhaust was just um, rattling against the car. You guys ever go up Big Bear or Mammoth or anything like that and go skiing or snowboarding or anything? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's gnarly. It's coming from the rear end. It goes away when I took the brakes, so that's what I'm assuming it is. Water up into the brakes and stuff, and then once it got on the cold metal and we got going in the wind, it just froze up solid. Here we are, downtown Kingston. Yeah, that's it. That's all there is. Made it to the post office before they closed. I hate showing up here at the last minute, you know, Mary trying to close up, and I'm like dropping packages off. Yeah, I don't care, man. You guys can come in or stay here, whatever you want. All right, all set. You guys want to get some coffee or no? Yeah, I'm just going to run in here real quick and get some coffee. It's warm, man. Come on in. Two. Is that all right? Huh? Two? Orange pot, but that's not decaf, right? It is not decaf. Uh, I figured not. Don't panic. It's <laughs> called, called I broke the other one. Right. Tell me when. Yep. All the way to the top. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Gina. Uh -huh. Have a good one. You too. Yeah, that's custom. It's my coffee holder right there. Yeah, it's definitely not good, that's for sure. We've got a burst radiator. I'm sure this thing just got too cold the other night and broke the radiator. That's great. So now I get to change a radiator. What's up, man? Nothing, this thing's just running a little bit hot. Oh, yeah? So I just figured I'd stop, put some water in it before oh, okay. I roast the motor. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. I'm getting ready to take off now. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate you stopping, man. Right. Have a good one. Stay warm. Yeah, well, maybe we won't roast the motor. from Matt Neal when I was down at his place in Atlanta. He got them off the troopers that he parted out. Uh, it's their Toyota wheels, but the bolt pattern's the same, so they'll go right on. And They've got a lot more meat than those ones I've been running. Those things have been done for a while. Is there another lug nut laying over there? Thanks, bud. Don't let me forget to torque those by hand, will you? All right, so get these manual locking hubs off here. You've got a clip in there that you need to get off. See that axle will actually move now. It's free from the hub. Get that brake helper off of there and I'll go ahead and hang that thing up over here with the bungee cord, get it up out of the way. I'm gonna get this castle nut right here off of the uh, steering ball joint. Cotter pin in it needs to come out first. Alright. 
that'll get that loose. We've got one more right here that we need to get out. All right, so you get that castle nut off right there. And then same thing, that thing will get loose. I've got this lower ball joint, same deal. It's got a cotter pin and a castle nut on it. Same thing, giving this thing a whack just on the solid part of the metal, right on the cast iron part. Careful not to hit the threads, tear up your ball joint. There you go. The axle boot has a little clamp up in there that you have to get off. Kind of one of those strap band type pieces that folds over and then... One of those little deals right there. You pull that boot back like that. And then down inside of here, there's a little there's a, there's a snap ring that runs around the inside of the, they call this a bean can. And then the axle just slides right out. This is that clip I was talking about. It's just a round piece of wire. And it's right there just on the inside of that, uh, top of that bean can. So just slide it back in there. And then you take that little snap ring just force it back into its little groove just inside the top of that bean can. That, that's what holds it in. Slide it back in. Pop it back over like that. Put your little clamp back over here. There's probably a tool for this, but I don't have it. Not gonna happen. I don't know why. It's like this thing's too short. Bah! Hands are greasy, everything's slippery, nothing's sticking. Right, so do yourself a favor if you actually have to do this and go out and just get yourself some aftermarket clamps and get yourself this CV joint axle tool right here. Because trying to put the factory ones back on, waste of time. There you go. Two seconds, done. None of that messing around with that factory crap. Get the axle started on the hub. Get the ball joint onto the knuckle. That nut started right there. Alright. Jack that control arm up to the upper until you can get that upper nut started. Oh crap, I gotta do this control arm. I'm done. I'm done. I still gotta do that upper control arm and I don't have I'm, I'm tired. Dude. I know man. I still have to get water tonight. That's gonna be shims and bolts and all that. I just I'm tired. I'm cold. I hate being defeated, but this one got me. I'm going to have to finish it up tomorrow. I know, but I hate being defeated, you know? I just, I, I like to feel like I can do whatever, you know what I mean? And I could stay up till midnight tonight, freeze to death, you know, and try to get this thing done, but... I've used these chains on stock. 235 setting vise. I think these are 31 10 50s. I don't even know if they're gonna fit. I may be screwed. We may not have one tonight. What a mess.
Yeah, and every year I tell myself, oh, I'm going to be more prepared next year. I'm not going to deal with all that nonsense next year. Next year comes, and guess what? It's all the same nonsense every year. Oh, barely, barely, barely. Looks like it might barely make it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Just a little bit. That's it right there. There it is. Alright. That's one down.